What's going on, everybody? Hi! We are here because, hey, where are you going? We're trying to make a video. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know you're gonna make a haunted house after the video. Yeah, come here, baby. We got something to show everybody. We're getting ready to decorate Harrison's little Ghostbuster playhouse. We're gonna make it all haunted and stuff. And one of the things we're gonna put in it is these pumpkins. Excuse me. Yeah. And when this playhouse gets all broken, yeah. Uh, and we don't have it anymore, I will build the Winchester Mansion playhouse. It's, 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 it's bigger than to touch the sky. Yes, if we build a Winchester yeah. Mansion Playhouse, we would keep building and building and building. That one's gonna cost a lot. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, better get a lot of pallets. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? What? What I started on is the walls with those like handprints. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, mommy and daddy have all these old ones. Most of them mom found at garage sales for really cheap. Oh yeah. And uh, anyway, to make them flicker, Harrison, they just have these regular bulbs in there, see? Oh, this one is bigger. Yeah. Well, that's what we're gonna update this for. We got so, this one just recently at Home Depot. You can order them on Amazon and we'll put yeah. a link in the description below which ones you can order. And what? they are a little bit cheaper when you get them on Amazon. Yeah. Right? Uh, these are the bulbs for my playhouse that I was gonna make. Okay. Come here, I gotta show you something though. So anyway, back in the day, we used to use these little flicker boxes that had these little fluorescent light starters in there that we wired up. And what you would do is you would just plug in a regular light and look, see? It would just twinkle. <laughs> bright light, bright light. <laughs> no. Got a little mugway. So that's what we did. We just plugged a bunch of them in. You remember, Gina? I do remember. Good times, good times. <laughs> all right guys so I just finished wiring up my little Griswold special here I have all my flicker boxes uh, mounted to this little strip of plywood and I've got them all plugged into the power strip that gives them the power then I've got a power strip that comes from each one of the flicker boxes and these are going to be where all the pumpkins plug into and what I'll do is this will go underneath the haunted house under those decks or the front porch I should say and then I'll just have Gina uh, just yell at me and I'll plug one in a, in a time. This is just four of them but you can kind of see how now that if they're all sitting next to each other it's got a little bit of a random look to it and it looks a lot better you know. We do use the LED ones too. Um, I've got those in like three or four of the pumpkins. But uh, again, if you guys have any of these that are already all wired up for the incandescent bulbs, here's a nice cool way to, to modify them. And you too can have a big giant wiry mess like this. Anyway, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna change this out with a new flame bulb. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna need your help. The first thing we gotta do is unscrew this plate. Do you think you could unscrew those screws? Mm -hmm. Remember? Oh, that's righty tighty. We go to lefty loosey. That's right. Yep. That's loosening the screws. We have three of them. Three. Yeah, lefty. most of our pumpkins are missing this plate, so I'll have to figure out maybe in another video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what to do to replace those uh to put the little light fixture in there. I guess you could always wire the cord to the back of the pumpkin and kind of twist it, like poke yeah. it through and twist it. Yeah. You know, you put it holes in the thing, but at least the wire will be secure. That's all we did, like when we did the haunted house facade. Yeah. We just screwed uh, like a little strain relief on the there cord. There you go. Right the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it, doing it great here. And the thing is, is remember when one of them got stolen? And we came out the next morning and it was just the, the cord with the light bulb screwed yes. to the railing. The pumpkin was gone. The pumpkin was, was like, gone. Ah, but they didn't steal the light. <laughs> 
So there, get your own light. Get your own light. (laughs) The other thing that we were going to do is play around with the idea of putting some parchment paper. Gina had some. I can do it. Okay. It's nice having help now. Yes. What? Harrison, how old are you now, son? Four. Four years old. Are you sure? Here, hold this. Screw it. Well, you said hold it. (laughs) Good holding. (laughs) You're almost done. (laughs) Hold it. Because you can see in there and see the actual flame bulb. We just thought we'd get a little parchment paper out of the kitchen, put it in there and see what happens. Yeah, we just did that. Not parchment paper, (laughs) that would have been funny, but for the Winchester (laughs) Mansion, if you saw that video, we did use uh, the plexiglass and then we put a see-through graphic over it. And so we're kind of trying to mimic that same thing. And the nice thing is parchment paper, wax paper, I think is waterproof-ish enough where you could put it inside. So if it did get rained on or something, I think it would be okay. Oh, you want to see the difference? Oh, yeah. Okay. Check out the difference. Okay. Is this the original or is this a new one? This is the original. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, uh, we're throw, gonna throw the off. other bulb in there. Okay, so unscrew this. Okay. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. No, it's not hot, hot, honey. No, no, it's not. I checked it for you. Don't be so afraid. It's good that you checked, though. All right, so now we have one of these bulbs. Can you put this one in for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, one, buddy. This one's good, right? Mm-hmm. I like this one because this one's colder. It's colder. All right. All you right. don't have to get it too tight. But here, now, now can you click this switch? You just turn it. You have to, like, go like this. That's because I have it plugged into the... <laughs> Ooh. So it's not as bright. It's got a nice warm glow this time. Yeah. And it flickers. Now this one is nice because I think you can do it upside down or whatever. It's Tusk. both. Oh, yeah. It flipped. Yep. I see. Very All cool. right. So now what we want to do is we want to put our piece of paper in there. <laughs> now, can I help you with this one? Let's see if I can... It may be too big. Just kind of fold it in half. If you need smaller hands, I can take over. Mm. Well, I know someone that's got real small hands. Yes. Okay, see how much you need? Now, I you could rip off the access a little bit, so maybe just... You know what I'm saying? Right. There you go. I didn't want to do it because I didn't know how big your pumpkin was. Now, a go. lot of this is just a test to see how this is going to work. Yeah. You may figure out another cool way. We have rice paper. Yeah, show them what it looks like without the paper in first. Yeah, That's just do idea. kind of a little mock right Everybody, there. You ready to see what it looks like? Yeah, so we have a comparison. Comparison? Yeah. Okay. What does comparison What does comparison mean? It means we are going to see the difference between the two. Okay, so it's actually pretty bright on the camera, but you can see the bulb inside. I don't know if I can get it on my camera. There you go. Do it at an angle a little bit. It's like the opening scene to Halloween. <laughs> There's like a mixture. There's a video of a mixture. It's like it's a mixture of Candyman, uh, Haunt the House, and uh, Halloween Doodle. Ooh. <laughs> that is a silly. Want to hear it? Let me type it in on my phone. I will be right back. Type it in on your phone. You don't have a phone. You're too young. This is going to be good for tonight for the test. Mm-hmm. A person, if they were crafty, they could get a little hot glue gun in there mm-hmm. and maybe put a little glue here and there and then glue it to it so it's a little better. But let's just see if this makes any difference now. We'll just set it in here. We'll do a little cheating. All right. Let's cheating's fun all right so what do you think see the nice thing about that it's very hard to tell on camera but you don't see the bulb now the big bulb no i think it's great and it glows really well yeah. you can't really <laughs> tell it's flickering on 
camera, can you? Yeah, a little bit. You can see, like, down here. Oh, yeah. The reflection on the black. I like it. I wanted to get a close-up of the, the wax paper, parchment paper in there real quick so you guys could see it. And like Chris said, if you have, like, a smaller hand, you can push some of those dents and stuff out, too. Righty tighty, lefty yeah, Lucy. That's the right way. Man. Good job. You're a good little handyman. The other thing that we've used in the past are those old school flickering incandescent bulbs where they have like the two little black flames in there and they, oh, they're yeah. not real bright. Like candelabra ones. Yeah. I always think of they're always in that. Yeah, we tried those, but you know, with those, every time we put them away and we get them out the next year, a lot of times they don't work anymore, you know? Someone's a little rough with them. <laughs> I think Gina? that one, Sometimes they don't even make it out of the store before Wee. Christopher buys them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We've had to return a couple. Yeah. That didn't work. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the other thing, too, is... You're blushing. We thought about getting a couple of the bigger ones. Mm-hmm. That, and the bigger ones... We have like, a big one. Oh, well, we could have used that, and those are like three or four watts, mm -hmm. but our little outlet, our little candelabra outlet yeah. wouldn't fit them, so I'd have to convert all of them. I guess so we'll just have to make bigger pumpkins. Yeah, we can. But <laughs> we all can. these are two, two watt. I have, really haven't found any that are bigger. Yeah. So, Honey, you know we have a ton of big pumpkins, right? Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> now, the bulbs that Gina found on Amazon, they end up being around four or five bucks a piece. So that is a little bit more expensive than if you ordered a ton of those little LEDs and wired them up with low voltage um, adapters. Plus some people use battery operated stuff too. But for us, because all of our pumpkins are kind of wired this way, it's easy. Mm -hmm. when you yeah, get we'll get to nice. it some year. But yeah. if you guys need a quick fix and you guys want this same kind of yeah. effect, thrift a pumpkin, get some parchment paper, get a new bulb, and yeah. you're ready, set, go. And, and the nice thing is they're all going to be different flickering. I mean, you know, yeah, you have the same bowl, but <laughs> we we set it up one year where we put the boxes and then we didn't have some and some, and it was like some were steady on, yeah. some were just like blinking, some were like flickering. Yeah. So this is going to be nice. Uniformity. And like you saw in the clip before, what we would do is just attach a bunch of these on a power strip. So a lot of them were all blinking the same. You know, did we already say that? That's what I just said. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, Chris listens to me real well. What? Erase that. <laughs> hey, little pumpkin. You know any good pumpkin jokes? Uh, guess what? Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, Jamaica. Jamaica who? Jamaica Jack. I'm looking for your pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Ha <laughs> <laughs>